This is the Threat Hunting tab. It consists of three sections. The Filter section, the Facet section, which is the aggregated results of the filter, and then the Activity Events, which are the various results tables seen at the bottom. We are going to hunt for indicators for exploitation of the Microsoft Exchange vulnerability found a few months ago that enables a malicious user to connect to the web interface of the Exchange without authentication and then save a web shell file on the server itself. Once saving the web shell, it can then be used for remote code execution capabilities on the Exchange server. We will search our entire collector base to see whether the web shell file has been created on one of the devices. We will search for an activity of type file create, where the creating process is IIS, and the target file is the web shell. And we will press the search button. As we can see, no results have been found, meaning none of our mail servers have been exploited so far. That said, as our mail servers do suffer from this vulnerability, we will save this query as a custom detection rule, such that we will be alerted in case the vulnerability is ever exploited. To do that, we'll choose to save the query. We'll call it IIS Web Shell Exploit. We'll add the description. And we'll add tags, exploits, and remote execution. And then we'll schedule the query to run every 15 minutes, such that in case the vulnerability is exploited, we'll get the alert. And after saving, this custom alert will show up under the Saved Queries dialog, as we can see here. This is the Event Viewer. After several days, we'll see a new alert show up with the name IIS Web Shell Exploit. We can see the name of the device that has triggered the custom alert and that the classification is malicious as we define the custom alert classification to be that. On the right side, we can see that this alert is a scheduled threat hunting query and the custom alert block settings we have provided, the description and the tag. We will now press on the threat hunting icon for seeing the related activity events. On the Threat Hunting tab, we can see the custom detection rule that we have defined and the activity event that triggered it. We can see the details of the event as well as the behavior that the 40 EDR automatically associated with it, exploit attempt, and the CVE number. Clicking on the activity event will show the right side panel, and that includes many details on the source process and the target file, both in a nutshell on the Summary tab and with great details on the process and file tabs. In addition, we can choose to remediate the file from here.